The Barren Grounds by David A. Robertson. Morgan is living in foster home number eight. She is angry, sad, frustrated, and lonely. Eli is living in foster home number one. He's sad. He misses his home and his dad and his grandfather. Katie and James are their foster parents and they are trying so hard to get Morgan and Eli to feel at home. Morgan loves fantasy novels and to write just about anything. Eli loves to draw and the sketchbook his dad gave him is extra special. Morgan and later Eli loves to hang out in the attic at home. It's a great place to be by yourself, to read and dream, to write and to draw. There is one room, one space in this attic that is closed off, locked up, out of bounds. But after an argument with Katie, Morgan finds a way to break into that room. Eli later finds Morgan there and he shows her a picture he's been drawing, a fisher like a weasel standing up on two legs and walking across a snowy field. Morgan thinks the picture is great. It brings back some dreams or memories she's been having. They decide to staple it up to the wall of this room. But every time they put a staple in it, a gust of cold wind and later snow, each gust bigger and colder than the last one, seems to come out of the picture. With the last staple, a portal opens to a frozen land and a fisher walking towards them. Morgan quickly pulls the picture down, but later that night, when she discovers Eli is missing, she knows where he is gone. Without waking Katie and James, Morgan goes through the portal to find Eli, and in the process, discovers the community of Isque, a world that will change her and her view of the sky forever. <laughs>